Did you know that January 2nd is affectionately known as Fake Jan Day by fans of the classic TV show The Brady Bunch? Or were you even aware that there was a fake Jan? If you give me a couple of minutes, I will explain it all. But first... Do the hustle! It's the all-new Brady Bunch with guest stars Lee Majors, Farrah Fawcett Majors, Captain Cool and the Kongs, Ann B. Davis, and Rip Taylor. From the producers of Donnie and Marie, it's the Brady Bunch Hour. Sunday at 7 on ABC. When the Brady Bunch Variety Hour premiered, almost everyone showed up to the party. Even Robert Reed, who had been very unhappy during the final couple of seasons of the original Brady Bunch series. However, like I said, almost everyone showed up. You see, it turns out that Eve Plum, the original Jan, was not available. And because of that, actress Jerry Rochelle took her place. I still remember staring at that cover of Dynamite magazine and thinking, you know, that new Jan is pretty cute. And it turned out she could really sing as well. So contrary to popular belief, Eve Plum was originally slated to appear in the Variety Hour. In a 1976 interview, Eve said that she had tentatively agreed to appear in five of the initial 13 episodes of the program. She wasn't able to do them all because of prior obligations. However, when she was told that it was an all or nothing offer, Eve decided to back out of the project so that she could focus on her career as an actress. So with Eve out of the picture, the producers of the show scrambled to find a replacement and met with over 1,500 hopefuls, eventually settling on Jerry to fill the void. Jerry found out that she'd landed the role only one day before rehearsals began. And although Brady fans have given Jerry the fake Jan nickname, something she's openly embraced over the years, Jerry's co-stars did their very best to make her feel comfortable right away. Early on, Robert Reed pulled her aside and told her it felt like she'd always been part of the Brady family. Something that Jerry truly appreciated hearing. And throughout the years, Jerry has remained friends with the cast, especially Susan Olson. While we take a look at Jerry's 2012 album, 1200 Riverside, let me provide you with a couple of pieces of trivia about Jerry. Did you know that she had never seen an episode of The Brady Bunch when she auditioned for the role of Jan? And the second fun piece of trivia is that she was actually given the role of Blair Warner in the original pilot episode of The Facts of Life. Unfortunately, she had to pass on that opportunity because of her contract that she had doing television commercials for General Mills. So I guess the truth about Jerry Rochelle, our dear sweet fake Jan, is that there really wasn't much fake about her at all. She's a talented actress and singer who stepped into a beloved role at a moment when it was absolutely needed. And for that, we Brady fans are truly appreciative. So there you go. What do you think? Does Jerry deserve to be called Fake Jan? Please share your thoughts as well as any other memories that you might have in the comments section. And while you're at it, I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I would be absolutely honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, Thanks so much for watching.